104.1 KRB, a cumulus media station. Good morning, everyone. We ready? Live from the TXU Energy Studio. The Rule and Ryan Show with producer Eric, Special K, and Sam. Okay, so basically everybody on this show is in a relationship, <laughs> so we don't have to worry about these dating trends. Well, there are new dating trends that we need to keep apprised of, Ryan, because, you know, if our... If our single friends or our fellow listeners and the Rule and Ryan Show family are saying, I just got yap trapped, we need to know what the hell they're talking what the about. Heck? <laughs> you're yap trapped or no? Yap trapped? What do you do? They say that. You just walk up to them. Oh, I'm so sorry. You didn't you deserve yapped. that. Yeah. 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 What do you even trapped. say? So 2025's top dating trends have been revealed. Okay. Plenty of fish is behind this. And they say, if you are off the market, consider yourself lucky. You don't have to deal with this. What is yap trapping? Well, here it is. Like shut your when yap. you are on a date, Eric has mentioned this many times, but now there's a phrase for it. Mm-hmm. When you are on a date and the date doesn't ask you any questions, they're just talking about themselves. Oh, yeah. yeah. 49% of singles, according to Plenty of Fish, have dated a yap trapper. They're yapping. trapped in their yap. Ugh. That oh. does happen. Yap trappers. Uh, anybody want to guess what grim keeping is? That's somebody that's always bringing bad news. I thought it was somebody who likes to watch true crime stories all the time, like Sam. She's the keeper of all the grim stories. That's not Uh, a red flag. Grim keeping (laughs) is bonding with someone over your darker side or your shared dislikes. Oh. Like, I can't stand FM 104 being listed. And now I have all these texts at 37530 that everyone listening to us has their radio listing us as FM 104. So it's our fault. I have no idea. (laughs) <laughs> I had no idea that's happening. But you know, interesting, like dark. So somebody things, that bonds like, over, like I can see that, like from maybe political Grim world, to, yeah, uh, yeah. Like, oh man, dislike. I really hate this person. Mutual Don't you feel hatred. the same way? Yeah, twenty eight percent said they have bonded over a mutual mutual hatred. Oh my god, I hate that too. You hate bananas? Oh, oh my gosh, bananas. we should totally Grim date. Keeping. Okay, okay the only person one. I ever met that hates yeah. bananas. There's other it's, people. It's the most where like, where are they? Non threatening fruit. They're everywhere. Please text us at 37530 <laughs> if the smell of bananas My makes banana you barf. My banana haters. And you hate them so much. Like you would commit crimes over them. She yelled so bad at it Poor Irvin. It? Irvin was just enjoying his breakfast. He yeah, worked hard. Uh-huh. He was eating the banana over here, it and was... she's like, can you take that into the other room? I'm like, holy crap, what happened? He I mean? was like right by my shoulder. It was gagging. I thought I was going to puke. <laughs> wow. I never see Sam Do you have the you time like... to find out what happened with you and bananas? Uh, we yeah. have to just keep on with what this. What about banana bread? bread. Can you no, eat, nothing. You can't eat banana, any banana nothing, product. Nothing, nothing, so nothing. So you, you never, you've never, not, not still, I can't talk. You have not still yet fed your toddler banana baby food or pouches with uh, banana in it. Mark has, my husband, and then bananas. at daycare, they just gave him a banana muffin, and they said he loved it, which yeah. I am shocked because... You, know you can't what, deprive him just because you I'm don't like it. I'm not touching it. You know what your hell would be is if you were on that King Kong ride, like a Universal? Oh, God, and they made it and smell like bananas? Because that big oh, the gorilla yeah. holds no. the tram, or used to, uh-huh. and it would just you could smell bananas oh. on its breath. <laughs> Imagine if you were stuck <laughs> on it for like two <laughs> hours. <laughs> okay, back to the single dra- dating trends we all need to know. So grim keeping. If, if Sam met someone who has a mutual hatred for bananas, they would bond. Um, <laughs> freak matching is connecting with someone over shared quirks or freakiness, like general weirdness. Like, Isn't oh, I'm a P. freak Diddy because did? this and that. It was a freak no, off. That's oh, freak off. Freak matching. 39% of experienced freak matching, like a general weirdness. We've done a bit for years on the Rule and Ryan show is what's your weird quirk? And so people will call in about their weird quirks. Mm-hmm. And then if you were to reveal that on a date and somebody said, oh, my gosh, me too. We're freak matching. Mm. Like a freaky thing that we like or do, we are matching. Okay. I don't think I'd like that, though. You're calling me Why? a freak? <laughs> but if somebody else likes it. Shared quirks. If you like that, too. Weirdness. Yeah. You it's can fine. bond over it. Yeah. Um, sticking, and the ick is capitalized. Sticking, because you know what's your ick? Yes. Right. Ooh, that's an ick. Uh, pursuing somebody after looking past an initial ick for something superficial you didn't like. You still pursued them to give them a chance. Oh, you can get over it. You stay with yeah, them. Yeah, and you stay with them and you got over it. Would you want to know that the person that you had an ick and someone was like, you had a really bad ick, but I still moved past it and that's why I gave you another well, chance? If the like, ick I wouldn't like want to know. No, I, would, ick is not I wouldn't like that but either. You don't, you don't tell them that you had an ick for it in your head. You're thinking about mm. it. Right. You know, I really didn't like your face because I thought it was. Okay, I, I got over I it. Got past it I you're saw funny. your wallet. You're and funny, I, 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 and now you're cute. I went I ahead. Would be terrible. The other way. You're not gonna tell like the I, person you're ugly. I did until somebody you laugh. Uh huh. Twenty years ago, and this person did some bad things with checks. Oh, like 
I think pretend to be someone else or something. Identity oh. th- theft? Yeah. It's like, I, catch me if you can. I, I overlooked that. You overlooked it? Because the person was hot. Because, yeah. Yes, oh my She's God. hot, You were worried she's going to steal your identity? <laughs> Your wallet guess. after y'all get it done and you're asleep? <laughs> she just steal your credit you card numbers? I hit my ridiculous. checkbook the whole night. I my credit card. I, I, I hit them every night. Check yeah. washing. <laughs> I know how to check wash. Do you want me to teach you? Uh, sure, hot girl. <laughs> That's, That's crazy. God. I started telling my wife about that. She's like, why would you be with that person? Well, I don't know. Hmm. Well, I think we know why. Because yeah. it's stick yeah, you know icking. Why. Yeah, Sticking? Well, he sticking. Was, sticking. He was sticking. 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 <laughs> okay. How about Gross. smutton? Like, you heard of being smitten. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. You're a smitten kitten. You like that person. Okay. Smutton. Smutton busting? Yeah. Smutton busting. Yeah. No. I was thinking smut. Like, maybe that's a bad thing. Like, oh, it's something like, you're you know. Smutton. Okay. Okay. It's not dirty. It's when you um, fantasize about things from shows or movies happening in real life. 40% of women and 20% of men said mm. they have been smutten, but why is it called smutten? Yeah, that, I don't know. It doesn't seem right. It just I, it doesn't even connect to no. me. It what what like... it means and what it's called does not even connect to me. Anybody mm. else? No. I'm not getting it. I, yeah, I don't get that. Say it again. For, say, when, when you fantasize about things from shows or movies happening in real life, you are sm- you are being smutten. That's more like fantasizing yeah. or something. Or yeah, fantasy. and, 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 and they have to give that. a better context of what are you talking about when you're saying from shows or movies happening in real life. If, if you like to watch true crime, are you like, oh, I just can't wait for that to happen? No. Well, you don't maybe it's like the candlelight walk on the beach that they're like, oh, that's so magical. But people oh. do that in movies. That doesn't normally happen. Yeah, we see movies. Like, so maybe the people like, the that's like the, the romance. Yeah, yeah they set so, up The Bachelor on the best dates ever. Probably, yeah, maybe like that. How about people movies? want that? You're smutting. Do you guys smutting. hate it in movies when they wake up and then they start making out and they're kissing each other? I'm like, you know your breath say, good is morning, horrible. Your breath is and kicking. they just start making out. You're like, you know that yeah. breath is not nice. But when you're in love, it's okay. Yeah, and then you both have bad breath. Yes. Yeah. I don't think so. Have you so. never, in 18 you've years never with your wife, you've never kissed your wife when she first woke up? made out with her in the morning or, or kissed her in the morning? Like a, not like not a make big, out, but no. just like a open mouth kiss. We'll even be like, oh, let's go brush our teeth Scope. and come back. What? Even in like the first couple sleepovers, you were like, you need to go brush your anything, teeth. anything, that's when you're really... Yeah, that's when you're really doing yeah. But now that you've been married for so long, you're not waking up and on a Saturday stuff? morning. Whatever. No, I'm just saying in general, you wake up on a Saturday morning and your wife is right next to you and you just say good morning and you just kiss her. You don't, you've never done that in all your years uh, of marriage. Maybe like a kiss. Yeah, like that. I'm yeah, talking, we're not I'm talking, talking about like a make-out. Like in the movies, these people are making out and doing yeah. stuff. Yeah, they need to get show us the behind the scenes. <laughs> of the I guess Sam does that. Sam doesn't care, I guess. As long as Mark doesn't smell like bananas, I'm kissing in that man. Yeah. <laughs> True. That would be her worst nightmare. He can smell like Gosh. ranky overnight oh. hot breath, but if his banana smell, he's out of the bed. <laughs> All Speaking the out. texts that we're getting also, everybody hates bananas, so. Oh, just saying. There just, are a lot of I'm people who you. hate them. It looks, yep. um, but that. someone said it's a banana is a room temperature turd. <laughs> See? Oh my God! What? Maybe maybe you're Absolutely. like the people that it don't is. like. Maybe it's I'm like so a glad chemical. You read that text well, only. It's a chemical thing in your brain. Like some people can't if, handle if cilantro. Turds taste like bananas. <laughs> sign me up. <laughs> you guys, I like Kevin, bananas. As Kevin read that, as Kevin read that, uh-huh. I saw it on the screen, yeah. and I don't know what is it about seeing it written down and yeah. hearing it. That just, bananas are room temp turds. <laughs> yeah, like, I wrote back. Wow. <laughs> wow. I do hate those string things on them. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, those off. I call those it, banana please. pubes. Oh, oh, my God. Are you trying to ruin banana to say that? Everyone? Good. Ruin Mommy, that. That's what ruin they them. are. What's that mean? Show okay. a banana. <laughs> we'll see. Somebody said, I also don't get Sam. Loves watching true crime. Hoping to find a dead body one day in a trash bag on the side of the road, but also scared of bananas. Yeah, yep. that's So you're weird. not scared of the body parts in the trash bag. You are scared of the banana. Hey, everybody's got their quirks that like, set them off. We so learned you'd be, it. Ro- yeah. so be freak matching then. I'd rather see a dead body than be around a oh, banana. Yeah. And no. really, you can't stand it wow. if somebody says FM before the station. It's yeah. so weird to me. Gosh, it's like it's 104. Everybody has their thing. If you don't thing. call it KRBE, you call it 104 as a Houstonian. <laughs> but nobody actually says, oh my God, I listen to FM 104. No. no never nobody that says that. Nah, never heard but it's that. always written. Why? Why? It's so dumb. Nobody cares I mean, it's different, me. but it doesn't like 
bother me to the point where I'm going to lose sleep. I've never looked. I'm it not up. losing sleep, Ryan. Yeah, she loses sleep. I'm not. Why are you like adding it. to the story? <laughs> I'm not losing <laughs> sleep. Believe me, there You're are very many things up. That, that, that the thought train You've been through lawsuits. Stop. You've been through yes. houses being ruined. I've been, I've been the defendant in a Couldn't, civil court case for three days. But what made you stay up all night was not that. The, the FM. FM. <laughs> not that. Okay, coming up next. How about Rula's relationship roulette time? Because this is actually very interesting. A lot of people have speaking of dating when it doesn't go well and there's a breakup. What is the most desperate thing you did to try and win that person back? Mm. So the person broke up with you, and you're like, no, you're making a mistake. Everyone has that moment where they're like, oh, I'm kind of ashamed I did that. Then you do that grand that gesture, kind of and they just blow you off, or they just say no. 833-390-KRBE. Mm. What's the most desperate thing you did to try and get somebody back after they broke up with you? And we'll talk to you next on The Rule and Right Show. Not traffic Mike's, time. There we go. There we go. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I got distracted. We're so much thing. fun behind the scenes. Yeah, I know. Okay, so, so here's, here's so something. If you're just sorry. tuning in to Rula's Relationship Roulette, people are calling, and that's why behind the scenes are just distracted, because they're calling, but they're so ashamed of what they did, they don't want to be on the phone to tell us. With three in a row. Yeah. We're going like, to tell you what they said. Oh, uh, we're not going to judge. Can I do your judge. intro, though, Please. and we can set it all up? Let's do the I'm intro. Sorry. Okay, okay yeah, yeah. here we go. Oh, yeah, that's right. May yeah. I? Sorry. In the wheel, find out what's the deal. It's Rula's relationship, Rula, okay, on me. Not FM? Woo! Not FM 104. Yeah. <laughs> hey! Oh, I love and it has landed so on what this morning. Rula's relationship roulette lands on most desperate thing you did to try to win someone back. Oh, <laughs> still still singing. Still what? Still still singing. He's still singing. I'm oh, sorry. It's like a heartbreak kid. Yeah. Shut up. No more. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Okay, so uh, okay, there are people who are ashamed of what they did. They look back now and they go, man, that was embarrassing. And that's why the calls drop because, you know, they're hey, look, still. It happens. You are in love. Your heart is broken. You are desperate to try and repair it. And you've taken things too far. Change, Change your name right. and then call. Right. 833-390-KRBE. Remember that lady that was doing a voice? I go, are you Okay. Well, I'm trying to not be found out. Right? Yes. I, I play that voice. often on, uh, like, when you guys go on vacation, yeah. you have the best of because hers is so funny. I, I think it was Rate My Secret. Rate Your rate, Secret. Rate, rate oh, yeah. Your Secret. Mm -hmm. And I think that was her secret, and that's why she called that's it. Because we yeah. haven't done that in a while. Mm -hmm. We can bring that back. Just so many people listen to the show. Right. And then yes. someone else hears it and they know them. That's well, like yesterday, the woman who called our show. Which is great. I believe I want everyone to listen. Yes, the woman who called our show yesterday, at this time we were replaying it from the 7 o'clock, she was talking about the Whole Foods and the guy that let her get away told her, hey, I love you, and he was listening, so Aww. he called in to double down that he does. So I just say, if you're going to do that, call in with a fake name and then change locations. Like, if you live in Sugarland, just say, Change you know, some of the details. No one has I'm to know all your Branch. details. Yeah. Just the basics of the story. And it sounded a little different on the phone, too. Yeah, 833-390-KRBE. Uh, one of the callers that didn't want to tell us the full story said her shame was the guy breaks up with her, and he's driving away, and she holds onto the car door handle. As the car is like rolling away, that's trying to get stop. Aww. And so you're like, don't leave me. That's heartbreaking. Um, uh, let me tell you all my own personal story. There was somebody that I had gone out with a number of times, and we were definitely on the road to becoming an item, like exclusive. Mm -hmm. But y'all know how stubborn I am. It took my real life husband to <laughs> get my dad to say, you should call him your boyfriend now. <laughs> Uh, hello. Anyway, so um, this person, um, I broke up with this person, and this was a time in the 2000s and the early days of the Rule and Ryan show where, unfortunately, in the news, many contractors who went overseas were being beheaded. Remember that? Yes. Oh, yes. God. Absolutely. That's so disturbing. brutally, horribly yeah. beheaded. Mm -hmm. So the person calls me to tell me that he has taken this job overseas. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like I could tell it was a reach, like, you think I'm going to get back together with you because you're going to the Middle East and you might get beheaded, and that's why I should be worried was for you. Was this in the region again. where the beheadings yes, were taking yes, place? Yes, oh, The same kind of job. And, okay. and I just was like, D you don't need to do this. Don't do this. Don't do this to your mother. Don't mm -mm. do not do this to your friends. Do not do this. He's trying to tell you that he's so heartbroken that he doesn't even care if something happens to him. No, no. I think the thing was, you should be back together with me because you might lose me. Mm -hmm. That's That was how I took it. Well, oh. I mean, that maybe that maybe that's how he wanted to play it. That's fine, you know, but and that's fine. And, I think did, the did, way did, you did took it, Ryan. 
I'm sorry, what was I it? took it the way Ryan took it. Yeah. Of what? I'm like, gonna... I, like, I, like, I'm just so despondent. I don't even care what yeah. happens. To yeah. I think, it, I think I, it's like, I, you, I want, you know. If you yeah. really care for me, I'll stay. Yeah, I'm that's, so, that's you, what look, I thought. That's, that's how I, I took it. It was, if we get back together, then I don't have to take that job. Well, no matter how you take it, it's so the, the it's blood is on your hand. He was going to leave. Yeah. 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 Um, no, he did not, and I did not go back with him. But I, I thought you feel know it like... didn't work because you like said no, and he still didn't take. Right, because <laughs> I could, I could still see right through it. Like, oh, oh, that didn't work. I will um, die for you. Okay, yeah, cool. and I just feel like I mean, <laughs> look, look, it's it's hard to let somebody down. Obviously, nobody wants to be the mean one. Um, everyone's been rejected, and it's hard to take the rejection. That's why this is the question: What's the most desperate thing you did in a breakup to try and get the person back? Laura is up first. Hi, Laura. Good morning. Hello, good morning. How are y'all doing? Hey, hey. we're fine. Yeah, is, is it a full moon again? I don't I wish know. It was Friday, but it's crazy. No. Um, what's yeah. your story, Laura? Share with us your story. So it, it, it is kind of embarrassing, but you know, I was young. So I was young. I was in my 20s, and I met this guy, fell in love. We were we dated for quite some time, got engaged, got married. First time he broke up with me, he thought I was cheating on him, which I absolutely was not. Mm -hmm. But of course, I was devastated. And had to move out of the apartment. Um, probably within a few months later, he figured out that he was wrong, that I was not cheating on him. He got bad uh, information, information from uh -huh. somebody else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, we got back together. Of course, I went back because I was young and in love. And <laughs> so we were back together for a couple of years. And then he broke up with me again mm -hmm. uh, because I don't even remember what the second reason was. It was some sort of something stupid. Mm -hmm. um, we're broken up for over maybe two years. Devastated again. Of course, I didn't date again because I wanted to be with him. Got back together again. Wow. Third time. Third time. Okay. Uh, I, yeah. I, I, he, took me, he took me back third time, three times, but I went back three times because I was stupid. So the third time we broke up um, because I wanted to have kids and he didn't want to have kids. So we broke up because of that. Got back together again. Oh, my God. Four times. And I... Four times I got got back together with him again. I was probably about 32 and wasted many, many years with the wrong person, but mm -hmm. I learned. Got back together. Um, we ended up having a child, which was the best thing that ever happened to me in my life. Aww. And once I had that child, when she was a baby, maybe six months old, I finally had an aha moment, you know, like Oprah says, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to where I Light finally bulb. realized all the stuff I had been through, and I packed up and left him. Oh, and never wow. And never went back and raised her on my own. So he's and had no part in your child's life? Uh, kind of intermittent, but he he screwed up his life, so we didn't want to be around him. I moved states and stuff like that. But unfortunately, I've been very unlucky with love. I haven't really found anybody else. But, you know, I have a very good life. And, um, some, you know, you never know. It's never too late. Like you, Ryan, you found somebody else. So I might, too. Yep. Why not? Yeah, that I mean, yeah. and when you're not expecting it is when it happens. But I'm not exactly. hearing, Laura, where the desperate, embarrassing thing was. Just that you just kept going no. back to him? You're all just... my friends and family knew that he dealt me three times, and I oh, went back to him. Okay. They, I mean, they all knew because, you know, yeah. when I get dumped, I come back home or I go to my friend's house because I got no place to live. Crying, and it's, you know, the upset. crying. And, the, yeah, yeah. and then when I, and then I, you know, then they pick me up, and then I go back. Did and, your friends I'm, ever say, like, bad things about yeah. him. Like, Laura, then, he's terrible oh, for you. Stop. And then you went back with him. They're like, great. Yeah. Now I look like the, <laughs> the butt cheese. No, they knew. I mean, you know, it, I, yeah, it was, it was, by the, not, by it was the embarrassing. Third, by the third time you came back to me, I'd be like, I'm not going to say anything about him because you guys are going to get back together yeah. again. Yep. That yeah. happened too. Yeah. <laughs> but I still have those friends because they knew that I just, I don't know. He was just, you know, confused and messed up and I, I guess I just really didn't It's going to be it. okay. I, you know, I, I, <laughs> <laughs> have firm belief that you will find the right person. Are you with somebody now, Laura? Yeah. Are you with somebody now or no? No, okay. I'm not. That's fine. I'm what, not. What, you said you were 32 or 33 by the time the ending happened. So when did y'all start this up? Like 17, 18? Or what? How old are How many years? Uh, we got married at 22. Okay. 22 and I, 32. Left, I left him when I was 34. Wow. So, well, okay. I left him at 34. Yeah, Look, yeah. a lot so of people, didn't... you have that epiphany, that moment where you're like, yeah, this is not right. Now, we're talking about Rula's relationship roulette, maybe something that you did that was desperate in order to keep someone that broke up with you, and somebody on text pointed out, and I think, Sam, you're ready to go. I'll tell you when, to, I'll cue you. Embarrassing things you do to win back an ex. Can you please give an honorable mention 
to the show member that wrote the letter to the ex, only to have it read out to millions of listeners years oh, later yeah. and sung by Special K. I forgot about oh, Ryan's letter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look yeah, what you made me do. It's Ryan's actual letter. Here it is. The first here on the Rule and Ryan <laughs> show. In there. We yeah. have hit such a chord with so many people that it warranted everyone from calling because all the texters are cringing in my car at the thought of telling y'all my desperate story. I know, story. it's so weird. It's so, not right. Like, you it's know, so embarrassing for them. How many times have people driven, like, you just drive around their house? Oh, the drive-by? The drive-by. Yeah, everybody's So, that. what we've learned... Called- Olivia Rodrigo wrote no, a whole no. song about it. Yeah. It's called a cry-by. A cry-by. Cry, yeah, because you're crying. Oh, cry by. Yeah. Didn't Celine Dion write about that? I drove all night no, she to didn't get write that to one. you. Or was that Air Supply? Did no. she sing that song? <laughs> Cindy Lauper did that. Oh, uh, did. By the way, yeah. the one common thread here that we can take heart with is that you are not alone. Because everybody is so cringe over what they did in a desperate move to win the X back after a breakup, they can't even tell us about it. But it's gonna. But it exists. I mean, why do you want it? Yeah. It exists. I, I get it. You know, you don't want to drudge up all that pain. Thanks, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up next, head on some cash. Yeah, we have cash. 104 bucks, courtesy of Fox's Masked Singer and The Floor, which air on Wednesday nights. And we need two contestants on the line that just know music. And we're not even going to ask you the title of the song we're going to play for you. We just need the artist. So easy. If you have general knowledge of music, call us at 833-390-KRBE. Two contestants. One is going to win 104 bucks, courtesy of The Masked Singer, next on The Rulin' Ryan Show. What was that audio you wanted? Sam to pull. Which one? Or oh, piece. I'm a daddy's lawyer. Oh. Was, that, was that it? Have we ever pulled that off? How audio? ridiculous is this? So for those that have this. not been following along, you know, Puff Daddy's in jail because he's about to get hit with all of these horrible... He's in a lot uh, of he trouble. He has to face all the horrible things he's done, allegedly. And one of those things was having a thousand bottles of baby oil. A thousand bottles. I mean, <laughs> now, that sounds extreme and how ridiculous, that, right? How do you need yeah. that much? But here's my thing. I would go, if I was his attorney, I would go with the, with the lane of... Doesn't now? Doesn't that sound ridiculous? A thousand bottles? No, he didn't pick that angle. Here's what he said about that allegation. How do you explain the baby oil and the lubricants? A thousand bottles of baby oil. Uh, I don't think it was a thousand. I think it was a lot. I mean, there's a Costco right down the street. You know, I think Americans buy in bulk, as we know. Um, and you know, this is this is consensual adults doing what consensual adults do. No, you know, we, not no. denying. We can't get so puritanical in this country to think that somehow sex is a bad thing because if it was, there'd be no more people. Uh huh. This so is a lawyer. He chose uh, to wow. say Costco sells that in bulk, and these are consensual adults looking for bulk amounts of baby oil. I mean, for most people, I think like a tube would probably last a couple years. Well, by He's the way, does thousand. Costco sell a thousand bottles of baby oil? I've never bought oh. baby oil. I don't know. I don't um, think so. But uh, let me tell you this. The allegation that they were not consensual, that is what that's about. So for him to be like, these were consensual people, he says that to the press, and now the prosecution can take that and say, okay, well, we're going to show you a whole slew of witnesses that were not consenting to this. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, I'm so Good shocked point. that he even said that. Oh, we're talking about consensual adults. Uh, that's what the story is. Everyone that was in this is not consensual. No. They were in a bunch of drugs. They were drugged or forced into it. Was that in the movie where the girl put baby oil on her skin? Oh, that was a heartbreak kid where she wanted to get the good kind oh, of tan. To get the savage tan. So she tan. got sun poisoned. Uh, you, don't understand, sun. You, don't, you don't understand we're near the equator. So the sun is the sun. The sun's the sun. Sun at the equator is no hotter. <laughs> it's, it's <pretty> <laughs> and then you got like second although, degree burns although, everywhere. Uh, I think most people in their 20s will say, it's fine. I want the best tan ever. Now people are texting, yeah. which was what I heard, that's it's GHB. Which is a growth hormone. It's not... Uh, it's oil. a party drug. It's a party drug. But I don't understand how you can confuse the baby oil bottle for a drug bottle. Because I wonder if you have all those bottles like that. You maybe that's a lot there. of GHB if he's got that much. And house. what does GHB oh do? Like what? What? What is Makes the purpose all, of that? It's like a date rape drug for yeah. for women. Um, it messes up. It for some reason it it messes up women more than men. And men, from my experience in the clubs, would. Uh, drink on it a little bit and get m- messed up so they didn't have to buy booze. And Kevin knows and this won't remember most anything. firsthand as a DJ in the clubs, you yeah. see a lot. Um, it's an illegal drug that acts as a nervous system depressant. It oh produces my. feelings of euphoria, relaxation, sociability. So if you give that to someone unwillingly and they've taken it, now it has push down their uh, receptors of yeah, that's why inhibitors. Don't, don't take drinks from anybody. No. You, you, you got to be really careful. You can buy me a drink, but I'm going to watch. I'm going to get the drink from them. I'll order it myself. Yeah. Don't I'll watch you ever order it. leave your drink. Like if you've got to go to the bathroom, 
Don't just leave your drink sitting there. Well, even if you're sitting at it, Ryan, if you're sitting at the drink, like you're sitting at the spot where the drink is and you're turned to your friend yep. and you have your, your peripheral isn't totally on it, the person next to you behind you can slip you something in the drink. Um, when it's Scary. mixed with alcohol, um, it can cause someone to black out. That's why they call it the date rape drug. And that's not... And they have no memory of what happened. Yes. Yeah, wow. it's terrible. Yeah, somebody just, had a good point. He, the attorney should have said, he, he's a hoarder. He... You know, COVID, he just collected a lot of that. Yeah, that's a good. But the allegations are pre-COVID, though. I think what they're going to get well, him on is the stuff you have now. He had, just, he had a a room full of that because he collected it during COVID. Oh, oh. sounds better than what he said. What he said. Hey. Costco buys in bulk. It's you know, natural to have relations, people. I mean, I Not Costco with a today. thousand bottles. Should I ask the the greeter at Costco, the door greeter, checks my card? Can you show me where the baby oil pellets are, please? No, that's can I get the creepy. the Diddy special? What is Sam, you oh, you don't want to say that. Hold on, Sam. You and I have bought baby stuff at Costco. I have never even seen baby oil there. I never used baby it's oil. It's wipes. It's diapers. Kids. It's right. pull ups. Right. I have never seen baby oil in a giant bottle. What do you use baby oil for for kids? What is I, I, you never do. I think that's something from the 60s. It's Bobby just called that. Oil. I don't think you necessarily know, you put it on it? your baby. Baby powder. It's Did like you see the meme of the FBI trying to climb yeah, his pup daddy's <laughs> stairs? Because yeah. it was. it's a game show where they're trying to climb the slip and slide. Oh, God. And it's like all these yeah. contestants sliding yeah. down yeah. The, the stairs. And they're like, this is It's on the old show every couple months they do that they, they do oh, the ocho okay. they do all the uh-huh. fun games that aren't uh-huh. <laughs> real sports yeah real sports it's really fun what they're gonna get him on is the racketeering that's man when well, you that's mess just with... that's like everything that's yeah. like an umbrella for mobbing yeah oh, you know? totally yeah. which we'll oh. talk to a, mo- a mo- former mobster tomorrow at seven forty. we're gonna talk to a man who is a prisoner consultant of how to handle prison once you're in there he served his time how and to now he's... handle sentencing he helps criminals that how to you know what's gonna happen to them in jail oh, prepares oh, them terrifying. so he'll tell us about like what Diddy's going through right now, and if it's true that, like, is he in danger? Is he going to try and hurt himself, or can he be hurt by someone else? Will he get Epstein? Yes, yes, and all of the above, yes. Yeah. It's so crazy. All it takes, they go for a cup of coffee, come back. Oops. And, oh, please see what happened to you. All right, what happened on Roland Ryan's Roses today? Oh, man. It was the case of the naked housekeeper. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> the case of the naked housekeeper. You're going to hear about it after this. Hey, yo. Time for KRBE's Rula and Ryan show to tell you what's going down, 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 down. in H-Town. Kevin, I wanted to ask you if you're having any problems with the mail because almost a year ago, KHOU broke the story about the major issues involving mail in Houston, and now it looks like it's happening again. People waiting at least 10 days for a package to arrive at their home. And once again, it's the Missouri City facility. Well, Booster uh, was sent a card on September 2nd from my mom. He got it two days ago. Mm-mm. And so, um, and my dad also sent me um, a, a check, and it really took about two weeks. Normally, it, it had, in past times, it was f- about five days from Delaware. Mm. But it, it's crazy just how long it's taking. So, and back then, you were having some package that you were chasing for months, oh, right? Oh, gosh. Did you I, get that package? I I think I finally did get it. Yes, yes, I he finally did get that. Yeah, they found me. By that time, I had moved to a different house, but it finally found me. So the yeah. problem is people that are waiting on insulin or heart medicine or other serious uh, drugs uh, and not getting their stuff. Mm-hmm. I mean, the VP of processing had promised the new facility would be 95% operational by the end of August. It's not clear if the U.S. Postal Service has achieved those goals or if a network modernization is behind the latest round of delays. Well, but from you what can, I remember, there there was a big piece of machinery that they couldn't get into the building because oh, they didn't measure right. it. Yeah, yeah they didn't right. measure right. it. You're right, you're right. Oops, Genius is there. Uh, oh, if you're Pony missing... Express. We have lots of horses here, people think. The Pony horses. Express. True. Bring That's it true. back. Yep. <laughs> or It'll you be better right? than what they're doing right now. If you have a problem, you can contact the United States Post Office by calling 1-800-ASK-USPS. Oh, no, they're going to tell you they on break. Oh, yeah. And they're going to put that little sign right there. We're on break. That's so annoying when you go into the post office no, and let me tell there's you, one they're... person and the line is stretched all I mean, the way the around. the power move of the post office uh-huh. workers is out of control. Like, you are next in line. It's obvious the person Attitude. that just left that window. And you move forward and they say, no, you need to step back because I haven't called you yet. Oh, oh no, yeah. The power back. trip of the postal worker. They do have DMV's a power like trip. Too. I haven't called you yet. Don't come to this. And then DMV you go like back that. to the thing, and they say, okay, now. The DMV, though, now they send me a thing in the mail. They said, skip the line, Eric. Yeah. Just make an appointment. Uh, uh-huh. I know. I, I do all from home now. What? What? Because my license on January 30th is going to be, uh, I have to get a new one. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, 
Instead of going there, they go, nope, skip the line. Nice. You have this new program. You just do these certain things what? online. Did you get a new picture? Oh, no. Nice. Wow. You use the same so, photo. As long and, as it's not uh, the new picture. I, I always felt picture. like this the DMV. Not, but this is not the one. It's like the one where you have to go uh-huh. really to it. But then they have some new program. It's called Skip the Line. Love you. I like that program. Things. You print it out, then you have to have that piece of paper in your car because they'll send you the new license. That's I do cool. have to give a That's shout out, to though, know. to the Department of Public Safety that I went to. I think it was not, it was not Rosenberg. Where did I go? They were so nice. It was so fast because you make an appointment. And uh, one of the p- people in the window next to where I was being helped was a Rule and Ryan show fan. And then she told her coworkers, and apparently we have a lot of Rule and Ryan show fans at that, uh, particular... that work at that particular location. Nice. And, and I had a very pleasant experience. It was nice. nice. But before she knew it was, you know, she realized it was me, it was already a pleasant experience because I'd made the appointment. I was like, wow, this is really fast and efficient. I like this. But they yeah. always say you got to go like farther away from. The post office Houston. is the hard one because you're just yeah. there to, especially now holiday sign, that's where you're they the need to create the a, 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 an office that just does IDs only versus driver's licenses. They just that they have two lines yeah you make an appointment you see okay. but it's the post office where you're like no no i didn't call you yet they step back oh the yeah there's attitude there that's for <sighs> sure all right so find out what happened with this naked housekeeper <laughs> <Rule and Ryan's laughs> next on the rule and ryan show <laughs>